sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well in today's video i share my samosa recipe with you all so we will be making the filling folding and frying so i just cut up my meats because i like to make my own homemade ground beef it is totally optional all right so to the meat i'll add some salt and i'll wash it under my hot running water and this is what it looks like once i'm done so i'll transfer it into my blender go ahead and grind it okay now we've already made the wraps so i'll leave a link to that in the description box below so you can check it out in case you haven't seen it yet so once my meat is nicely grinded i'll set it aside and i'll chop up some onions and we will begin and i'm using half of a medium red onion it is totally out to you how much you use in my pot i'll add in the oil to this i'll add my chopped up onions and I'll sweat it for about three minutes. Then I'll add my ground beef. Also some beef seasoning, sage, anise, and half of a spice blend cube stir everything up and i'll cover it to cook in its own juices for about five minutes it's been about five minutes now so i'll add enough water to be the same level as the meat cover it and allow it cook completely in a bowl i'll add some cornstarch to that i'll add water and i'll mix well and I will be using this as a thickener in my meat because I don't want it to be dry. So I taste it to see it is nice and ready. So I'll add my cornstarch. Look how nice and creamy it is now. So I'm going to go ahead to add in some carrots and I'll stir everything together and allow it simmer for just about three minutes. It is nice and ready and I'm going to allow it to cool completely before we begin anything. Meanwhile, I'll make some paste with flour and water and I'll set it aside. We will be using this to seal our um, samosas. And this is what it looks like. It is nice and ready. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's begin. So to wrap this, you first want to fold it into a triangular shape. And then with your index finger, you want to press the bottom side down and fold, ensuring that it is sealed. This will make it not ooze out. It will make your filling not ooze out while frying. If you fold and leave a little pocket hole over there while frying your filling is going to ooze out and your samosa will not be as nice and clean all right so you go ahead and add in your filling and with the filling you can add any veggies of your choice i choose to stay with carrots because samosa is pretty simple not it's not it doesn't have as many veggies as spring rolls okay so we keep folding it in a triangular shape until we have reached the end and as i said i will leave a link to the wrap in the description box below for you to check out so once you've reached almost to the end you want to go ahead and apply the paste and then finish the folding process it is very very simple in the beginning it may be a bit challenging but trust me once you get it you got it my daughter be folding it like a pro now <laughs> All right, so we'll set this aside and I'll show you all one more time. All right, so 
lay your wrapper down, fold it into a triangular shape. All right, with your index finger, press it down and fold it over again, ensuring that there is no hole for your filling to ooze out. Then add in your filling and continue the folding process. Apply your paste and finish folding. Now while making the wrappers, the side that toasted a bit, as you can see right here, when using it, you want to add your filling to the toasted side, okay? So yeah, I just threw this in to get you all to know that don't throw it away because once that side goes on the inside, the back of it, the presentation side still looks very nice and beautiful. I hope you got this um, folding method it is very very simple so I'll show you all another way to fold just in case this one is not your favorite so with this one I'm going to go ahead and cut the spring roll wrap in half and you want to cut any excess off to help you fold better so you want to fold it in a triangular shape again apply your paste and then we fold the other side over. Once you do this, you're gonna get a cone shape, okay? Ensure that the bottom is nicely sealed so nothing oozes out of there. And then once you have that, you add your filling. Apply some of the paste to the folding area, looks like an envelope, and then you go ahead and close it up. And then you wrap any excess around it or you can go ahead and use your pizza cutter to just trim any excess off all right and there you have that one so yeah choose the one that you like the most and use it so again you fold apply your paste Close it, ensuring that the bottom is sealed, and then add in your filling. Perfect, it looks so beautiful. So we are done with the folding and we are ready. So I'm going to add some oil into my frying pan and I'll heat it up and we'll be frying this on medium heat. All right, now that it's nice and hot, we'll add in our samosas and with samosa, the tips of it begin to cook quickly so you have to constantly stir this if not the tips will burn and the middle part of it will still be a little white and you will think that it is burning but it's not done so please medium heat keep an eye on it stirring constantly as you can see some of the tips have already begun browning so if you leave it alone it will burn all right so yeah it is nice and ready now so i'm going to get it out And just look how nice golden brown our samosa is so I'll put it into a paper towel lined plate to get rid of any excess oil continue frying until we are done there you have it it is nice it is ready and it was a bit noisy in my house so you may not hear the crunch 
but I'll share it anyway. Just look how beautiful. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the sweet team, y'all know I love you. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke onamini ochemi sweete mahabotu. Bye y'all.